going to talk about doing good while doing bad. 2 Thessalonians 3.13 says, As for the rest of you, dear brothers and sisters, never get tired of doing good. I don't know if you've put any thought into this or not, but it is possible to do good while doing bad. It is so worth doing what is right and good. There is nothing like holding your head up high, knowing you are not cutting corners and cheating the system. Look around you right now. If you're at work, pick out those you know are not doing right. Or wherever you are, can you pick out those in your life that don't do good? They're really not hard to spot. They are the ones that not only check out personally, they also check out of their life early. They quit, then blame other people for their faulty attitudes. They always want to point fingers at others that are doing good and achieving something positive in their life. And then they have the gall to get mad at everyone else but themselves. They are the only ones that can control how much money they can make in a given day. They are the only ones that can control how they react in certain situations. It may be thankless and challenging, but it is always worth doing what is right and good. The rewards that come along with that are limitless. Now, you might even feel like it doesn't matter or that no one will notice how hard you work, or how hard you work to live as God says to live. Perhaps you feel a little cheated, because despite your efforts, things just aren't working out the way you want them to. Well, here's what I say to that. Keep going. Galatians 6, 9 says, Let us not become weary in doing good, For at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. It's all about not giving up. Don't think about throwing in a towel. It's possible that you won't see the results of your labor and your devotion, but nothing you give to God is fruitless. Lower your shoulders and keep pressing. Every decision you make to do what is good gives God one more tool in his toolbox. He is working to build something beautiful in your life. Keep going. Keep doing right. Keep doing good. Regardless of how many other people check out around you, regardless if anyone else notices your hard work, God notices. He's taking note and it is well worth it. Keep doing good. Let me close out with this. God strengthened me to keep living how you asked me to live. Give me the endurance to make the decisions that please you, even when I'm worn down and beaten. I pray you will restore my energy and help me keep moving toward the life you want me to have. Thank you for being with me and for helping me live a life of doing good. Ladies and gentlemen, before you check out, be sure to like, subscribe, and share the show with someone else. Don't keep it to yourself. Share the wealth. I look forward to our next time together on Strength for Today's Man podcast. But until then, be blessed.